everyone. This is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. I'm back. You have probably seen the first video that I uploaded about my happy mail and um, just a few other things that I discussed. Nothing major. This will be, I believe, we're at podcast number 61. It could be 62. I'll have to check. And then I'll put it up. <laughs> <coughs> I have gargled with water because the first video was kind of a little, I mean, it wasn't bad. You can understand me, but the voice can get like kind of messy. All right. So hope everyone's well. Hope you're warm if you're in a cold climate like we are. And I hope you're cool. If not, I was watching Krista and um, from Secret Yarnery. I was so jealous. Because she was like, yeah, it's like 80 some degrees. She was sipping that ice cold water. I was like, man, that looks so good. But yeah, no. I have to drink water at room temperature. I can't have it like ice ice cold. It just drives me absolutely insane. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, um, this morning it was very cold. Um, negative 18. It's going to be cold tonight and another cold day tomorrow. So um, yeah, there's no school today. It is Pulaski Day or Polanski Day. I always pronounce his name wrong. He was a brigadier general, and um, so we celebrate the day, and there's no school on that day because he was born March 6th, I believe. So this is the day we celebrate his birthday. Um, uh, let's see. So <clears throat> I do have strep throat, but I've been on medicine for more than 24 hours now. So I'm already feeling better. I've slept for probably 12 hours. Yeah, it's crazy. And I feel like I haven't done anything at all. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You get sick and it knocks you down. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so um, behind on everything. It makes me crazy. But um, I actually just kind of rested when I woke up. I didn't do any crocheting or anything. I tried, you know, had some soup and had some more tea. And then I went back to bed. <laughs> so... It felt really good to be able to do that. So, before any of this gets any worse, I still feel fine, so nobody panic. Um, the craft show was amazing. Um, it, it was in Mount Zion, and I've done that one every year for the last, this is my third year. <clears throat> and they have one in March, they have one in August, and then they have another one in November. And um, this was the first time, though, because usually I worked. So this was the first time. They usually have set up at, at um, from 7, 8, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday night, the night before the long day. And then it starts, um, and I think it goes from 8, no, 9, from 9 to 3. So um, the cost of the craft show I made Friday night, which was great. So everything that I made on Saturday was just all profit. So, um, it was a very good day. I was very happy and I did something a little different with this craft show. Usually I have tags on everything and somebody had noticed, um, <clears throat> that I didn't have tags, um, to, you know, say what the prices are for everything. Now for me, I just have so much stuff and it was just like, Oh, I don't like to put them together. Some people love tags and because I've done the tags before and now I'm, I'm doing the signs, um, None of my customers were confused about anything. I had everything in a row or in a, uh, a basket or some kind of a rack so they knew exactly what it was. And then I had the chalkboard. That's what I used, chalkboard signs. And they came with cute little easel holders. Oh my gosh, so they were adorable. Um, I got them at Amazon. I'll put the, the link in the description box below. So I just had everything on the table. I had everything displayed out nice and neat. And I had a, a in front of everything. And then I had a cute little chalkboard easel sign that's framed <clears throat> that says like welcome to um happy to hook her creations um and everything was hand i said hand i think it said it's handmade by lisa and um then it has like a little a little ledge on the bottom so i put my my um my business cards there so that was pretty cool um everybody made a comment about the signs they just thought they were the cutest things <clears throat> excuse me so I'm drinking some of this lovely tea that my girl Rose from Rose Likes Crochet gave me. She hooked me up. I told her I was running low. She sent me some more and a nice surprise. I'll put the link in that 
and the link to that video. I'm wearing the same thing because I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to play catch up. But let me tell, let me, um, before I forget, I'm going to write, I wrote down some of the, the best sellers. Um, oh, where's it at? I made a headband. I don't know the name of the headband, but I know that I got it on Repeat Crafter Me. Um, and it was a wider, wider headband, like an ear warmer. And that's what people were looking for. And it was, it was kind of, I'm recording. Don't, please don't yell. Thank you. Anyway, it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me. It was wide and it, it had like a little, like you pinch the middle and then you put a little wrap around it. It was really cute. I will find it though. And I will put it, let me make myself a little note here. I will put it in the description uh, description below. So I'll put link because um, I sold out of those. I only made seven, but I didn't have any left. And I sold each one for $5 a piece because they were wide. Um, and yeah, they, they were like, that's exactly what I was looking for and everything. So that worked out well. And I'll tell you what I'm, I'm really happy with because I normally don't sell them that wide. I usually make headbands that are like standard size or maybe a little bit, um, uh, a little bit narrower. Um, so did you need anything? Okay. All right. Go on and play. Um, so those went really well. Another one. And, um, again, I will put the description below because, um, I was just look, looking for a textured hat something that was a little bit different from the puff stitch that I was doing. And I found one that was relatively quick because I wanted to make something because I had been so busy I didn't have a lot of stuff or I didn't think for the craft show. So um, there's a textured hat video on YouTube. Um, and I, I'll know exactly when I see it. I actually saved it in my watch later. So I'll get that and I'll copy it and I'll put it down below. But um, it's a textured hat with a pom-pom. Now I put... Of course, I bought, um, let me show you one, Hob oh, not Hobby Lobby, um, Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Fabrics had these pom-poms for $2.50 on sale. And then I had, <clears throat> dang it, excuse me. And then I had a coupon for 20% off your total purchase, and it included sale items. So, yeah, I bought like 14 of them. And all colors I bought, like pink and gray and black and white and this one is like an off-white with a little hint of black I mean I'll probably see it kind of looks kind of looks gray but um, I was putting these on the textured hat if I'm, I'm pretty sure that I took a picture of the the gold one everybody stopped to, to take a look at it and and to feel it the gold one um, and they're like is this for sale and I'm like yeah absolutely because I had only made, you know, a few colors in it and they were already gone. Well, a college girl came back and ended up buying that one. Um, and it was one of my favorites because it was that really rich golden color. And then it had to like the brown. But I thought it matched really well. So, or the faux fur pom pom. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Anyway. Those also sold very well. I mean, I don't have any left. Um, washcloths. If you look at the pictures, if you are not a member of my Facebook page or Facebook group, it's um, Happy to Hook Creations chat, and um, just ask to join, and that way you can see everything that I post. Um, but my washcloths and scrubbings, again, a big hit. This year I did something a little different. I tied some off. I made them double thick, so I used two strands of 100% cotton yarn together. Um, and it was just sugars and cream, something like that. The sugars and cream or um, sugar and cream or whatever the other one is, peaches and cream. I just used two strands held, held together and it just made them nice and thick. And they were eight inch uh, squares. Then I made some smaller ones, which were seven. So I had seven inch squares. I had the... Um, the eight inch double thickness squares, and then I had nine single, the, the nine inch squares. Um, I made 12 nine inch squares. When the, when the um, craft show was over, I had three left. And I had, so I made 12 of each, 12 sets, 
12, and 12 singles. Um, so the nine inch sold really well because I only had three of those. I think I still had four or five of the smaller ones left and I had four out of the 12 um, sets of the washcloths left. Um, I sold a hat that I made from a tutorial from Crystal on Bag O'Day Crochet. And, um, man, I'm trying to think of what, I, oh my goodness, you guys. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. Remember I was telling you about that $1 pattern for her um, cotton candy slouch hat? You can make it like very little slouch or no slouch, little slouch and then slouchy or something. But I know it had like three different... <coughs> Excuse me. Three different ways that you could make it. So, yeah. Um, I sold four of those hats. Um, I made some chunky. I made some with a J-hook. I made some with a K-hook. You know I like to experiment with the sizes of the hats because I want to work them up. I wanted something quick. I wanted to get it done. Um, uh, and I will be showing you some that I have made. Uh, because I don't know if you can see them in the picture, but I've got some of the other ones that are here. And then, oh, what else? Oh my goodness, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I had a, um, I bought Seta's pattern from Seta's Place. Seta has a pattern that's called Debbie's Neck Warmer. Um, she named it after Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter, and we always say, yes, it's Crotcheter, not Crocheter. And, um, I only made one. I only made one, and I had to change the buttons. I was a little disappointed in myself, mainly, because I bought a bunch of buttons, and I didn't really notice that they were hand wash only. And, uh, you know, some customers just don't want to be bothered with hand washing their stuff. So um, I didn't make any more until I, you know, wanted to go to Hobby Lobby because they had buttons on sale, and their buttons are, you can throw them in the washing machine. So that's what I wanted. But that one sold, so I got I got to make some more because I was hoping to show you guys. It's an easy pattern, and I'm telling you, if you haven't purchased it yet, you need to go to Seta's Place, send her a message, tell her you want it, and then she'll also include um, a video tutorial uh, on the neck warmer. So it's a win-win deal. So you definitely got to check that out. Now, um, I think this one that I did from Crystal Bag of Day, this is called the Summer... The toddler summer hat. Um, I made a purple one and then I made a um, teal one, kind of like the color of this one, I think. And it had a, a big flower on it. I did not get to put a flower on this one. I had an orange one to kind of bring it out. Um, it, it didn't sell, but the other one sold okay. And this worked up so quick. It's so cute. And I loved doing the little ruffle that she has for the brim. So I'm taking this. I have another craft show Saturday. Um, and Saturday it's supposed to be like 41 degrees. So. Um, I don't have a lot of like springy stuff, but this is going because see it's got that cute and this yarn it, in case anybody wants to know um, It's old. I had just enough to make I had already made a hat. I had just enough to make another hat This was a very old red heart yarn um, It was in like a package. It was like 75 cents uh, and it was a gifted yarn and it made a cute little hat. So I was really happy with it But I will add a flower. I think I'm gonna add a flower to it because I like the way the flower looked So again, this was from bag of day crochet and I'm going to um, find that tutorial and then I will put a link below So I've got a lot of gotta make a note of that link So I know <clears throat> Do you guys need anything because I can hear you? I'm recording So go back downstairs and play Barbies Okay? Could be my dogs. I don't know. Coco, if that's you, behave. She likes to play with the door. Anyway. I'll tell you what. She had a stroke last year. Sometimes you never know it. She is just as cantankerous as ever. And she's 10 years old. She like growled at me the other day and I'm like, what is wrong with you? You don't growl at the person who feeds you, you nerd. But I don't know. She was like very excited because I was giving her another treat. I buy like this um, bacon, I don't know. 
bacon, beef, and chicken wrappy kind of thing to help with their teeth. And you just you just hear look, they hear like this, and they come running. They're like, oh, oh my god, you have something for me, don't you? They are hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, I always have something for them. Duh, I spoil them. They're like my kids. Such a nerd. Okay, so anyway, let's we see. We keep getting off subject. All right, now um, I do have. Is it one whip? I only have the one. Well, I have a continuous whip. We all know that's my blanket. I will be showing you that. But I just had to say, this heavenly colored squishiness. Do you, do you see? It's so squishy. It's up. Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter sent me this yarn. And I believe it's called, oh my gosh, Sugar Bush? I think it's called Sugar Bush, I want to say. This is awesome. It's very pliable. I mean, look at, it's got like a, do you see that spring? It's perfect. And I'm making, um, I'm making a hat. But you see, I mean, look at how it's just so, I don't know, guys, it's so squishy and Oh my goodness. I need one of these in like every color available. Debbie, you're going to have to show me. You're just going to have to. I got to find it because I love it. I, I, I absolutely love this yarn. And I was saving it because she sent me two. So, and I don't have the package with me, but I know it's probably Sugar Bush, Sugar Bush yarns. But the last craft show that I did last year in November. Uh, <clears throat> I made ponytail hats and I was able to get three out of this little ball because this is all I've done. So I got an adult size hat for the mom. I got a toddler size hat for her four year old. And then I got a little baby hat and they all have brims like this. The baby hat was just a regular hat with a, with the brim. And then I did two other hats with this same type of brim. Only they were, um, ponytail hats. I had very little left. I was very impressed with this yarn. Um, it didn't, it, it crochets up very well. And I used my clover hook, which I love. Um, it just, you know, just slides right off the hook. It is really nice yarn. I love it. I need one in every color. But yeah, so there's that. So there's, I think my one, my one whip. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing at the craft show. You guys know this thing that these were going around, and I didn't make them as a balloon. I did make some that were shaped like a balloon because that was part of the <clears throat> part of the, the the tutorial that was going around when they first came out a couple years ago. Um, I started to make them circular, and I call them water balls instead of water balloons because. <clears throat> These things are great to bathe with, they're great to wash your car with, and they're so soft and squishy, perfect for washing your baby. They won't scratch. I mean, have you? this is just Bernat baby yarn, Bernat blanket yarn. I'm, I'm telling you, it's perfect. Um, so my husband has a couple of these that I whipped up for the cars, and um, I'm sending some to my nephew who uh, has a new baby boy, Ezekiel, and he was born in January, so I'm gonna send some to him in Dallas colors. This is nice, but you know, Dallas people, Dallas. And um, yeah, and the kids love to bathe with them and then they play with them outside in the yard and when it's hot outside, so win-win. Um, <clears throat> I, from one regular 10 and a half or 10 ounce ball of the, I can get 15. 15, I believe, is the last time I counted. Might have been 16 without because I didn't make the balloon size. So 15 or 16 of these, okay? And I charge $2 a piece. And, you know, it's a great deal. So, yeah. Um, oh, I do have another whip because I don't have anything else with it. So <clears throat> I was telling you about my nephew. He's my great nephew, Zeke. Um, so I've already made his blanket out of the Bernat blanket yarn. Okay, so here's the blanket. And this is just a whip because I told you we're really big Dallas fans. So I'm going to put the blue star with white trim in the middle. 
and then the blue and white around the edges and then it'll be done. Um, and even though he lives in Texas, if you ever use this yarn to make blankets, these things are awesome for tummy time. Um, they're good to cover him up with if he's, um, you know, laying down on, uh, on his, <clears throat> laying down in his crib or, you know, it's just a nice little cover up and it doesn't overdo it. I did, um, a half double stitch. So it's like kind of, you know, it's got some little air holes, so it's not really, cause it doesn't get too cold there. Although my brother did say it was like 33 degrees. So who knows? But this will be something he can carry with them for quite a while, which is what I wanted. And I wanted it big enough because this is this, this is it half. So this is at half. I wanted it so that when he's two and three and maybe even five, by the time you put that out, what a great lap blanket it'll make for him. So who knows? They might still be in Texas. They might not. But either way it goes, he'll have a little blanket. So I just have to finish the star and do the trim on that. So that, that is the only whip I have other than wonderful sugar bush yarn that I'm making a hat. Now, I've got um, some other things that I wanted to show you, but before I did, Abby would like for me to show you her hat she loomed. She did too. She's upset with this one, but I love the idea because um, I don't know what she did here because I don't really loom, but you can see that there's kind of a line and a little hole. So if you loom, if anybody out there looms and, and can maybe help her figure out what she might have done, maybe skipped a stitch or something because if you look on the other side look at how perfect this hat is it's just perfect and she brought some of my yarn she made her own little pom-pom isn't that great I think it looks really nice so if you know why she had these holes right here other than maybe skipping a stitch because um, she really wanted me to take it to the craft show but you know I explained to her well we've got to figure out what's going on there first so we did that she did that one and then this here's another one shouldn't put a pom-pom on it but this one turned out really great it's a smaller one um and there's no brim it just kind of curled up on its own but again dallas colors isn't that cute though it is adorable so i have shown her hats she did a good job <clears throat> excuse me <sighs> i just gotta take a breath let me taste my coffee Can you guys go downstairs so I can finish up here? Thank you. I bought her a Barbie van. She needed something to put all those Barbies in. So they're downstairs. They should be going down playing Barbies. Go on. I hear footsteps. So go go play. Do you have Jordan with you? I don't want her by herself. <laughs> she's over here to play with you don't leave her alone <clears throat> anyway sorry guys okay so now now my other work in progress I guess I'll show you that next um, is of course <clears throat> dang it excuse me my temperature blanket um, I haven't done any of March and you know because I got sick so I took a little bit of a break dropping everything on the floor is what I'm doing Hold on, guys. Let me put that in the, out of the way. There. Okay, so you know how I put, um, and the color I'm using is berry red, I think. What does it say? Yeah, berry red to um, finish off. I was almost done. I probably should have finished. So I just have this little bit left for the separate February from the start of March. So uh, even though it's the 4th, I haven't really done yet i usually wait honestly wait honestly till it's like the seventh day that way i have at least seven stitches to do or seven rows so <clears throat> let me hold it the right way all right so this is the blanket this was this was january let me hold it up <laughs> this thing's gonna get so big pretty soon okay so here's january and then there's the line and now this is February's. I know I still have to weave in my end, so I'm not worried about that. But there's February. 
Um, so now I'm going to fold it in half. <clears throat> I'm going to fold it in half here. Because it's already, like I said, this will definitely fit my king size bed when I'm done. And I, that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm very excited. So look at that. I think that pop of red is exactly what this blanket needs. Um, and then, you know, there'll be that. And I think I'm going to um, use this berry red. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I'm going to use this berry red to go around the edges here. So as soon as the blanket's completely done, because I have like four or five skeins of this, I, I maybe do I'll maybe do like one or two around. I don't want a big, a big, um, you know, thick um, edging. I just want it to kind of go around there a couple of times to maybe help pop that out. So January, February, and then there's the red to start March. And oh, I don't know why I've never done a temperature blanket because I'm really enjoying this. And it's nice because, like I said, I wait seven days and then, and sometimes 10, <clears throat> and then I'll get those rows done because they're all done with a K-hook single crochet. So it goes by really fast. And then I wait till the next week or so, and then I do it. So I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to check out, someone sent me the link to a website where you can go back and check the, we the weather at certain times. And um, I would love to do that for, like, Abby. Excuse me. I'm trying to eat something during videos. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Other than just soup. <laughs> anyway, I'd really like to do a birthday blanket or something. I think that would be great. But there it is. I really like the way it's turning out. Um, <clears throat> and my neighbor... My neighbor, Kristen, oh, Kristen, I love her to death. Um, when her son lived here and with her, before he graduated from um, nursing school, uh, he would come over and he would mow our yard. I had my surgery. He'd come over and check on me. And, and I'm sure it helped him out, too, to kind of look at my wound and see how it was doing. He was just he's such a great kid. And <clears throat> she basically raised him on, on her own. She did a fabulous job. But I noticed when she was remodeling the house, when I was there it's done in this really pretty she loves the beach so she's got this beautiful um, like beach scene on her wall <clears throat> with um, sand colored shells and um, accents and so I would love to make her a blanket uh, when I find out what uh, year she was born in I would love to make her a blanket with just those colors like that beachy blue and maybe an ivory, maybe an ivory. And then like that sand, sandy kind of color. Um, maybe even a little, I think there was one called seafoam green. Anything that's beachy and happy. I would love, love to make that for her because they have just been the best neighbors ever. I mean, you know, you get those one neighbors and you think, I hope you never move like ever. Yeah, they're all around me, guys. We are so incredibly blessed to have such great neighbors they take good care of us we take we look out for them they look out for us it's perfect um now i've got some news i have been asked <clears throat> to test a pattern a pattern and i'm i'm hoping that um since she posted it on my facebook page i'm really hoping that she is okay with me doing this so before I post this, I will ask her. Um, but the pattern is by Tammy Chevalier. And her and I spoke. We FaceTimed, actually, and I got to meet her granddaughter. And um, uh, I figured out she had sent a picture on Facebook. And I figured out exactly, I told her exactly what it was. And she says, yeah, do you want to test this out for me? Well, Tammy, I'm here to tell you, it's a great pattern. I followed it. Didn't have any problems at all. <clears throat> the only, the only, pro I did have a problem. I only have this much left. And this was just like, this was just like some random cotton that I got at the thrift store. And I thought for sure I had two little things of them, but I only have one, but look at it. So even if I have to shorten it up, maybe add another color. Um, I love it. Tammy, I love it. You did a great job. 
You need to get that thing done and get it, put it up for sale on Ravelry if that's what you're going to do because it's an easy pattern to follow. And um, I have, I mean, my bags are going to fill this thing up. It's going to be crazy, but I love it. So thank you so much for asking me. I, I am totally honored that you did. But look at that. It worked up so, so quickly. It was very nice. She did a good job. So, <clears throat> so thank you. Thank you for that. And, oh my gosh, what else? I want to make sure that I go, I went through everything with you guys. So I told you about that. Um, okay. So I did not want to do a separate video. So I'm going to show you the last bit of the items that I crocheted because I do have some finished objects um, other than the, the one hat that I showed you at Bag O'Day. And then when that's done, I'm going to show you what I ordered and um, because it's here and I wanted to go over that with you guys. So Hannah of the Cozy, Cozy Cottage Crochet. She's awesome. And I say that because I made eight of these hats <laughs> and I sold four of them. Oh my gosh. And you guys should have seen the last one. A lady is going to be a grandma for the first time. They know it's a girl. She's due. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Dang it. Saturday. She told me that she, the baby is due in like a week. So hopefully she's born or will be soon. And, um, so I made, the, I made a little hat, a little brim and everything. Just like, um, I just, uh, I made I I made it just for a newborn size, but I used the concept Hannah's concept for for her patterns that I've already made for the adult size hats. I made for a newborn, and instead of putting a pom pom, I made four little curly cues, like when you're doing a um, la la loopsy hat. Hold on, hey, that's too loud. I want it turned down, please. I'm recording. I said not to turn it up. Thank you. Anyway, I put four little curly cues on the top. And she says, do you have any little girls hats? And I just got it because sometimes <clears throat> I don't have any little like newborn um, mannequin models. So I always just kind of stuff the hat and just sit it up on the table so they can see it. And so that's where it was. It was stacked right there. And then I have a bag of newborn pom-pom hats. Um, like Gingy has a few characters, has Gingy and Shrek and stuff like that. And, um, so she bought a couple, she ended up buying four. She bought three hats out of the bin. And then I said, well, did you see this cute little hat? I said, what little girl would, would not look adorable in this hat? And then I put it on my, my, um, fist. I put it over my fist and I said, see, she goes, I'll take it. <laughs> so she bought it and I've looked and looked. I didn't even take a dog on picture of that thing. And it was just some leftover yarn because I'm trying to use up my stash, right? I don't think I took a picture. But y'all, it was so cute. And it had <clears throat> so um I know I would see I know I would know the yarn if I saw it again, right? But it was like pastel colors. And then it had like um a sparkly thread going through it. That's the best way to describe it. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, the cotton, no, yeah, cotton candy slouch. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. You guys need to check it out. Um, as far as I know, it's still a dollar. And even if it wasn't, you would ha you have to buy it because it is just adorable. I made four different ones this time, four different needles. I used four different needle sizes hook sizes, whatever, um, <laughs> to make the eight hats. And these are the four that I still have here. So let me show you the first one. And this is done with Bernat Softy Chunky Yarn. And I believe it's in forest green. Ha! There's number one. There's something on it. Okay. So, yeah. And I don't know what I did there. I probably forgot, and I did. Because I looked at that, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. Okay, well, up to here is her. Up to there is probably sick me. But hey, it closed up nicely, didn't it? I think that's half double crochet, because I'm a goober. But um, I think it looks really good. So there's there's that one. And let's see, I'll put that right there. 
And this one, Jordan absolutely loved. I let her pick. She picked it. So, uh, here we go. So, ta-da. Look at that color. The pom-pom that matched the pink. Um, this was, I love this yarn, but I don't know what it was because, um, the yarn was gifted to me by a lady who wanted me to make her some chemo hats. And she said, just make me a hat and you can keep the yarn. So I, I was able to make, get a hat out of that. And it's just, look at that. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Oh, it's no wonder I sold so many. And this one, I always make this one. I don't know what the name of it is, but I always make it around Valentine's Day because it's got these pretty little Valentine's Day colors in it. It's got this cute little, there's the little pom pom. Woo -woo. Um, I don't think any of these are slouchy, but I've got a big head, so these just won't fit me. I'm sorry. My head is just entirely too big. But, <laughs> but look at that. Look at that lusciousness. Look at that. And then these two, aren't they cute and adorable? This one is the last one, and it is my all-time favorite. <coughs> I was like, excuse me. I was like, oh, I wonder how this would look. Now, um, okay, with this one, um, I used an L. Oh, here it is right here. I used an M hook. So I used an M hook with this one. This is the chunky yarn. With this one, I used an H hook. With this one, I used, nope, that's backwards. This is an I hook. With this one, I used an H hook. And with this one, I used a J. And it is my favorite. Because I just love the pattern that it made up. It looks so neat. I I don't know. I just it's just something about this hat. And I haven't tried it on. But if this fits me, I might have to keep it. But isn't that kind of cool? And so it kind of looks like this is my 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 grandson is like that kind of looks like a dinosaur. So, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's really neat looking. R regardless to what it looks like, it is just pretty cool. And this was, um, there. it's right there. Uh, loops and threads. Loops and threads. I don't know what the colorway is, but y'all, I ain't getting up. Because if I do, I'm not going to be able to get that. No. I'm going to sit right here in this chair until I'm done. <clears throat> and I'll look at it, and then I'll put hat or color used for hat and I'll put that blue and blue and brown one um and I'll let you know what the color it was but I do know it's loops and threads so yeah so I'm telling you guys Hannah great pattern so there's that one there's that one and there's that one and you might be able to see the other ones on the table at my craft show <sighs> yeah not 100% though but if you zoom in, you might be able to see the little one that I had on the table. So, <clears throat> so far, that's all I have. I just want, I'm looking around because I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, that's it. Now, so we are like 38 minutes in and I've got a few more minutes left. So if you want to stop now, I'm done talking about crochet. That's it. Um, <clears throat> what I, if you want to stay with me, um, for the next, I don't know, five or ten minutes. That's absolutely great. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but um, I did want to show you what I ordered and what came in. I don't know where the box is now. Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> I knew it was here all the time. Um, since Seta has been doing her sip, her teas, her sit and sip, um, I have yet to send her some tea, and I want to send her some. Um, I have also never tried loose leaf tea I've always tried it already in a bag so with that being said I'm trying to see where my little thing is because it was right here here it is my sister brought me I told her I was going to order some tea and she was at Walmart and she got me a little thing to hold my loose tea in which is super cute I haven't used anything yet because you know I just haven't used anything yet. So I found this shop. <clears throat> it's called, um, I believe it's pronounced Adagio Teas. Could be Adagio. It's A-D-A-G-I-O. Could be Adagio Teas. Um, I will tell you this. 
They had really good prices. You didn't have to order a big, huge amount to get what you wanted. And they have given me, um, uh, they gave me a, a gift for because I was a first time buyer. They asked me um, what my birthday month was. And I told them it was August. So look at what they sent. Isn't that cool? So it says Leo and it says right there, happy birthday, which I thought was cool. So when you open it, and I hope I don't spill any, look at that. I am so excited. And then I'll tell you, I don't know. It, it'll tell you, oops, it'll tell you what's in here. Get back in there where you belong. <laughs> okay. Now on the back, it tells you the ingredients. So listen to this. <clears throat> okay. It's pretty small. Oolong tea, rooibos, oh, rui, rubus, chamomile, orange peel, red safflower, safflower, can't even talk today, vanilla flavor, and orange flavor. And then it tells you steeping 212 degrees for three to five minutes. And I just think that's really cool. So, yeah, I thought that was really neat. And they had it in a little bubble bag, so I'm going to put it back in there. All right. And then I just looked around. There was so much to choose from. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. So I ordered a little box. I didn't get, I didn't go overboard. I didn't, like, overdo it. I'm going to pull all these out. And, I'm set them up here. and Santa, if you're watching, you are already receiving a sample with your shawl. So, so I cannot wait till you try it out because I have yet to try any of them. Um, I've just been drinking up the regular tea. This came and I was like, Oh, I got to share this with you guys. So this one, this is the packaging. It comes in like a little, it says fresh teas direct from the origin artisan black teas. And it says our artisan black teas come direct from farmers in China, India, and Sri Lanka. So there you go. <coughs> excuse me this flavor <clears throat> excuse me fiery cinnamon spice I have not these are still sealed like I said I just got them in but that's what that one is fiery cinnamon spice and this packet this packet right here 10 cups of tea so there's 10 teaspoons in here because you're supposed to put a heaping teaspoon um in your infuser so there's that and I tell you there was just so many oh and I had to get this one. Oh my gosh guys Yuletide toddy seriously Yuletide toddy oh I didn't tell you what was in this one I didn't know if that let me see if there was anything extra special okay so fiery cinnamon spice yeah I got ahead of myself this one had this the ingredients are cinnamon bark black tea cinnamon ground orange peels natural spicy cinnamon flavor and cloves that's what's in this one. Yuletide toddy. Wait till you hear this one. Too loud, guys. Ingredients, apple pieces, hibiscus, rose hips, orange peels, cinnamon bark, ginger root, natural cranberry flavor, dried cherries, natural orange flavor, neutral cinnamon flavor, and natural ginger flavor. This one just sounds so amazing. I absolutely cannot wait to try it out. So, <clears throat> the fresh herbal teas come direct from farmers in South Africa, Egypt, and Guatemala. So, I'm hoping it's a good thing, you know? I mean, you know, you order from some of these people and um, some of these companies and you're like, hmm, but the pictures look pretty good. So I'm excited. Okay, this one. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry. Golden monkey. I'm not kidding you. That's what it's called. See? Golden monkey. But listen. it. I don't even know. It doesn't even say what's in here. Fill your cup with a monthly dose of tea at tmuse.com. But it doesn't say what's in the golden monkey. That's funny. Yum. I might have to try this one first. Let, let's open. Should we open it? Let me let me see what I think I smell. It's open now, so. 
Ooh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like coconut. I can definitely smell coconut, maybe mango. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. All right, so let me seal it up. So coconut, mango, it's definitely coconut. That was an overwhelming um, thing. It's funny how that's not there. I'll have to look it up. And guys, I only have four more, I'm sorry. Okay, five. <clears throat> okay, then I ordered blue orange. And this one has orange peels, hibiscus flowers, rose hips, and natural orange flavor. So there's that one. Then I ordered um, turmeric bliss. And this has apple pieces, rose hips, turmeric infusion, or inclusion infusion, Ugh. cinnamon, ginger, orange, natural mango flavor, marigold flowers, natural orange flavor, mango pieces, and black peppercorn. I don't know about you guys, but I think that sounds pretty doggone interesting. And yeah, I thought that was cool. This steeps five to ten minutes before you drink it. It's just really cool that they give you all the information on here. Um, it, it, you know, it just tells you how long to steep it, the, the, the temperature and everything. So um, this one is called Honey Bush Banana Nut. And this has honey bush tea, apple pieces, cinnamon bark, cocoa nibs, natural banana flavor, natural chestnut flavor, and marigold flowers. Sounds awesome to me. In the box. And, and last, and I got this little thing. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. Last but not least. Candy cane. You guys know how I feel about peppermint. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Too much talking. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. <coughs> Candy cane ingredients are black tea, candy cane pieces, peppermint leaves, and natural candy cane flavor. I might have to open this one first. I mean, like, next. I guess since I opened Uncle, I mean, the monkey one. Oh, let me put my birthday one back in. Okay, and then I got this thing. <clears throat> so, you earn points when you buy. I don't know. Do I know if I'll buy from them again? I have no idea. But <clears throat> all of these teas, and like I said, it, each packet, it, and on here it says each packet has five to ten cups per thing. And then I got my bonus one, which may be five teaspoons in there. I don't know. Twenty bucks. With tax, it was like twenty-one something. So um, I could not pass that up. I just could not pass that up. Um, <clears throat> okay, so they've got like... So I've got a list here of um, different websites, okay? So this one says tmuse.com. Find practical insights on the benefits and enjoyment of tea. Teachat.com. Connect with others who share your curiosity and passion for tea. Teacritic.com. Compare your likes and dislikes with others and uncover hidden gems. Tmap.com. Discover great places for tea nearby and wherever you go. And then this one I particularly like, and I will be checking it out. Teachef.com. Try whimsical dishes created by people with a passion for cooking and tea. So um, it sounds to me like they're, you know, <clears throat> incorporating the tea with the meal that they make. Which I think is pretty cool. So, I don't know. Let's see. These are just car... See, I haven't looked at this yet, so. Um, oh, free chai sample enclosed. Cool. Spice up your cup with our popular chai tea. That's cool. It's got like this nice little picture and then on the back, right there. So it's just saying, you know, review to earn points. Thanks for spreading the word about our tea. We appreciate you sharing with us and close the gift of tea to express our gratitude. And yeah, they did give me a tea, a, a tea thing. I love those cups. I've always liked the clear cups like that. Never did get one, but I might have to do that. They tell you where they source from. And then tea relieves depression and anxiety. D 
Depression levels in people who drink tea are much lower than in those who do not. Tea provides a welcome relief <clears throat> excuse me, from life's stresses along with a cup of mood-boosting antioxidants. And then it says, <clears throat> th this is like awesome. Are you ready? Don't worry. Drink happy. Isn't that cool? Don't worry. Drink happy. Yep. So there you go. I just thought I would share that website with you guys um, because I'm hoping that they, like I said, I've never had loose loose leaf tea before. And you there. I think they also had tea bags. I'm not sure. I think I saw something about that. But anyway, sorry if I went, I went like 12 minutes in, but I definitely wanted to, to because you guys who have been sending them to Seta have been, you know, you guys are really doing a great thing. And I'm like, I want to send her something a little exotic, something a little different, like, because she's been getting some really great teas. So <clears throat> she'll be getting something from me very soon, along with the shawl that she wore, um, won. And I'll put that link um, where I picked her name. I'll put that link down below as well. <clears throat> now, I think I've talked myself into a nap. Enough. I'm done. <laughs> um, before I go, we are almost at 2,100 subscribers. Um, I wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to all of my subscribers who have been with me from the very beginning and have stuck with me and have supported me um, from that very first day onto this one and, and future ones. Um, and then I, I also want to welcome and thank all my new subscribers because I've received um, or have gotten, I guess, several new ones in just the last month alone. Um, and I also want to welcome you to our chat group on Facebook because we're also vastly approaching our 300 mark. So thank you all so much for that. Um, I'm going to keep these videos coming. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better and I won't be so froggy. I do apologize for that. Um, and this is a little lengthy, so... Um, I'm going to get off here before it gets to the one hour mark. I didn't want it to be this much, but I had a lot to cover. Um, oh, and I did before I leave. The shelves behind me are yellow. I know you can clearly see that, but let me explain to you why they're yellow. When you scan your receipt at Walmart, you know how they like do the super saver. And now you got to do it a little differently in the scanning thing, but they still take them if you scan your receipt. And then they save you money. Well, I had enough money saved up that I was able to get three of the four with that money. And these were all clearance. They had like, I think five different colors. Yellow, because it's bright yellow, I guess, was marked down to $20, I believe. $20 a shell for, anyway, my, t my amount for all four of these was $24.89. So, yeah. And they're perfectly, let me, let me move. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me show you. I'm so excited. Cindy, can you, can you see Lucy? Can you see her? I put her up on the very top. I've got Esmeralda, which Jack absolutely can't stand. There's my hat from the movie Singing in the Rain. And, you know, my flowers the kids gave me. Um, and just some other stuff. I told, I was like adamant about not putting a bunch of yarn up there. But... These things hold really well. They hold a lot. I believe they're 20 pounds each. And, you know, doesn't it doesn't match that. It doesn't matter about that, um, the weight, because, you know, I don't think the yarn, I think will be fine. But these, I really like them because they were um, no tools required. You just, un the little bar, um, the white, the white bar leggy things, you just screw them in. You turn everything upside down. Screw everything in, turn it right side up, and you're good to go. Seriously, it was that simple. Jordan and Cameron helped me put them together, guys. Yeah, it was that easy. And then when Abby came back, she had um she had a something was going on. I don't know where Abby was, but when she came back, she helped put the the fourth one up, and it was perfect. All four of them fit perfectly along this wall. Um, I still have some filling in to do over here on this shelf, but. For the most part, we're good. So now I just kind of got to organize everything else because I had a craft show. So I've kind of got things everywhere because I leave stuff here and then I change it out with some summer and spring items. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about that, 
um, or want, or actually what I'll do is I'll put the link, the, to the Walmart link to those in the description box. So I got to make a note of that because you know me, I'll forget. Um, thank you all so much um, for your kind words, for looking at my displays, to, you know, watching me um, religiously. I do appreciate you. Um, and I, I want you to go and check out Gypsy Rose Crochet. Um, I will be doing her tutorial on the sorting hat from Harry Potter very soon. I want to take that with us because we will be going on vacation next month. Um, and I'm super excited, uh, for Cameron and Jordan, especially. So definitely check her out. There's so many more. I'll, I'll put a link of some other podcasters that I'm watching because I know, um, we're already at like 55 minutes, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me. <clears throat> especially through all this nastiness. <laughs> anyway, um, stay warm, stay safe, stay cool if you're hot, because like it's that's no fun either. And um, I want to do a special thanks to Tammy again for allowing me to test your pattern. I appreciate that. And um, you guys have a wonderful day and, or evening. It's getting late here. It's already five. I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking, guys. Bye.